Hey everybody, what's going on? Superman Ryan here, and today we are back with another little discussion video. And today, what I want to talk to you gents about is episode 61 of Dragon Ball Super. Um, not a whole lot happened in episode 61, nothing I remember. Um, we did get some more into the plot of Zumazu and Black Goku, which was really cool. Um, so I'm going to give everybody one real quick spoiler warning. I don't know where this camera down a little bit. So if you do not want anything spoiled, if you haven't been keeping up with Dragon Ball Super, if you haven't been keeping up with the uh, Black Goku Future Trunks arc specifically, and you don't want anything spoiled, click off the video now. If you're okay with some minor spoilers, stay on the video. If any large spoilers come up, I'll make sure to give you much, much, much advanced warning. A lot of advanced, I guess I could have just said a lot of advanced warning, but what the fuck ever. Without further ado, let's get started. So like I said earlier, a lot of this episode was just kind of it showing us what um, what Goku Black and Zumasu's real plan is and why it's unfolding the way that it is. Uh, and if you remember my review for episode 60, if I remember, I'll put it up here somewhere. I don't know. I'll, I'll try to. Um, they say in episode 60 that it's Trunks' fault. Or no, that was that was in the title leaks. They say that it's Trunks' fault for episode 61 in the title leak and description. I'll put that video up here somewhere. Up there. Somewhere. I don't know. Anyway. And I was really, really confused about how this was Trunks' fault. How is it Trunks' fault when Zumasu has never even met Trunks? But it is. Technically, yeah, it kinda it kinda is. And the way that they explain it is because Trunks tampered with time. Trunks went back into the past, he gave Goku the heart virus, which ultimately or didn't give Goku the heart virus, but cured him of the heart virus, which ultimately led to where we are now. Of course, if he wouldn't have done that, Earth still would have been destroyed because of the cell uh, cell saga and the androids, obviously we already know that. Um, so one way or another, Earth is, Earth is, Trunks' timeline is fucked. And you know, I, I'm kind of starting to think that Trunks' timeline is going to be fucked no matter what, because technically, his Earth was supposed to be destroyed because of the androids, but they went back and they changed the past, which yes, I know it didn't technically change his future, um... But Earth was supposed to be destroyed and it would have happened eventually if it wouldn't have been for Trunks. So I think that Trunks is never, his Earth is never going to really be at peace forever uh, just because of that specific reason. And they also explain how Zumasu is still there. Uh, uh, apparently Beerus was right. So if a god kills a god, it changes that in the future in every timeline. So when Beerus killed Zumasu in the present timeline, Zumasu in the future technically was supposed to be dead. He was, and Beerus was right. What happened though is because the Zumasu he killed is the one that's in Goku Black's body. Okay, so the present time Zumasu, the one that Beerus killed, his future self is the one in Goku Black's body or in Goku's body that made Goku black, however you want to say it, I don't really fucking care. Um, and because he has a time ring, he has that silver time ring, uh, alterations to the past don't affect him. So because he's wearing that time ring, because Beerus killed his past self, it didn't change the future. It didn't affect him, even though Beerus is a god. And it's really, really interesting to know that it's, Goku Black, or it's it's the present time Zamasu, uh, that is that is Goku Black. I really do think that it's really interesting. Now, the one thing that I'm still kind of confused about is why uh, Zumasu went to. Now, I mean, we know why Zamasu went to all the different universes, and why he went to Trunks' universe, obviously, so that he could talk to uh, the Zamasu from that universe, and they could get together and they could make this plan. Uh, they they state that that's confirmed. I mean that's that's how it happened. He went to every timeline, 
every parallel universe, whatever, told every Zamasu ever uh, to, you know, told them the plan, and they all set it in motion. Uh, but why he stuck around in Trunks' timeline, that's what I don't understand. Why he stuck around in Trunks' timeline, instead of going back to his own timeline and doing it there. I guess it, well, I guess it's because Beerus is gone. That's that's why because Beerus is um, because the Supreme Kai in Trunks' timeline died during the Boo Saga. <clears throat> uh, the Beerus is gone, and that's why he stayed there, uh, which is pretty interesting. Um, but I don't know how, like, what their plan would be for his timeline, you know, uh, because Beerus is still there so how are they going to go about wiping out all the the morals on the, in that timeline in that universe but that's essentially what this episode is now what i will say is i think we see a new transformation from future trunks uh, i'm not going to get into too many spoilers about it just because i don't know anything about it but it's when they uh, accuse all of this of being Trunks' fault, he goes into this rage, his eyes are just straight white, kind of like Broly's. Uh, that's what I keep seeing it compared next to. Um, so his eyes are white, he's still a Super Saiyan, he's still got the yellow hair and everything. Um, but there is like a blue, and I'll put a picture over here somewhere about it. Um, but there's like a blue line of energy around him that I'm starting, and I think that my hunch from a couple of weeks ago was right. I think that Vegeta was training him how to use God Key and how to harness God Key. And even though he hasn't um, perfected it yet, and he can't do it to its fullest extent, you know, he can't go Super Saiyan Blue, I still think that he has learned a little bit about it, and he's learned to harness a little bit of God Key. And I think that that's what he's doing. And we know, and this is a small spoiler, um, Obviously, if you've seen my title leaks video, uh, you know this already. Uh, in the next episode, in episode 62, uh, Vegeta and Goku, they go back to the present time to try to figure out a way to beat them, uh, Black uh, Goku, Black, and Zamasu. And they leave Trunks in the future to fight both of these guys by himself. And I'm starting to think that that's the only way that he's going to really be able to hold him off long enough for Goku and Vegeta to come back is because he's kind of harnessed a little bit of God key. But I don't know. Uh, let me know your guys' opinions down in the comment section below. I know your guys' opinions are probably more accurate and more important than mine. So let me know your opinions down in the comment section below. What do you think is going on? What do you think this transformation is? And what do you think is going to happen next? Uh, now, I mean, obviously, we know kind of what's going to happen next because of the leaks that I leaked out to you guys, the spoilers. But <laughs> uh, other than that stuff, what do you think is going to happen next? I know a lot of people are saying fusion between Goku Black and Samas, which would be really cool. Uh, I think it would be really cool to see a Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, if you are new to the channel, make sure you like the video. Ichigo says like the video. Make sure you comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Then make sure you hit that little subscribe button. Oh, and follow me on Twitter. But that's it for this video, guys, and I will see you all on the next one. This is Superman Ryan signing off. Bye, guys. Hey, everybody, what's going on? This is Superman Ryan saying, why don't you click on over there on the next video? Uh, go check out that video. There should be an annotation right there with a nice little video clip and you can kind of see what the video is that I'm playing. So go make sure you check out that video. And if you have not, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on this video. But that's it, guys. I'll see you over there. Bye, guys.